Manchester City, 40% to take all three points uh, from this game. Um, Liverpool, though, given very much a fighter's chance at 36. Steve, I feel like we should start with you. Uh, yeah, and they should be as well. Uh, City have got a, a horrible record recently uh, at Anfield. Uh, and the, the first Does that game... matter, though? It's a completely different no, City doesn't. team, isn't it? I, I think what matters is... <laughs> Why did you bring it up, then? <laughs> Well, I was just giving you a bit of information. Oh, okay, context. Yeah, you're sorry. No, no. Useless information. Excuse me. <laughs> so you've knocked me off my track. No, so, but I think what I think what's more important is is the way Liverpool played against City the first time they played when Manny got sent off. Because up until the sending off, Liverpool, in my opinion, were the better side. And I'm hoping I'm hoping at Anfield. <laughs> what are you sniggering at? I'm hoping that I mean, Man we can beat 5 0. But they're 10 men! <laughs> up until Manny no, got all, sent off. They all, up, up until, until that, they got if... sent Oh, here we go. Up until. So it doesn't matter the numbers then. <laughs> so it's not a numbers game either. They caused them one or two problems early on. So, That's anyway, about it. As before I was rudely interrupted. <laughs> Abruptly. <laughs> I, hope, I hope the best form of defence for, for Klopp is attack. And that basically, what I'm getting at is I'm hoping he plays Lalana in the middle of the park along with Chan and Wijnaldum, right. instead of going, you don't Milner, going safe and playing Milner. Yeah, I think, I think clearly City's weakness is their defence. You're at home, get after them, and show us that the last game, when you did so well for a spell, wasn't a fluke. City's defence has been pretty good this season. That's because nobody's been able to get at you them. Said, you said nobody's Liverpool's been able to get at Liverpool. them. Liverpool. Look at the other day with Stones. Liverpool. What happened then? Well, he's made a that was good, wasn't no, it? Well, he's made a couple of mistakes in the exactly. last couple of games, but they, that's been rare for him this season. But you're saying Liverpool's best form of defence is attack. Yes. We just bought a 75 million centre half that you, you said is going to sit on the bunk bunk four. Oh, do you want him to go and bunker in? No, I didn't say that. No, exactly. I, I didn't say that. And the fact that they just spent 75 million on a centre half means that maybe they can go on an all out attack because they've got oh. a decent centre back. That'll stop the ball ending up in the back of the net. How about that? So, what a uh, wacky idea. And yet, and yet it feels that this is a real test for that centre-back, for Virgin van Dijk. Because Absolutely, Playing yes. against Everton in FA Cup, yes. that's not it. This is it. Uh, Manchester City provides a whole different challenge. And if you're Virgin van Dijk and you're Liverpool, this is the sort of opportunity that you want to take advantage of and say, yes, that's right, I'm the answer to all your issues. But the other, the other side to that argument is the fact that if he gets exposed, and Liverpool get exposed, and Manchester City play the way that they can, then now all of a sudden you have more questions than you have answers. It should be fun, shouldn't it? Right? There should be plenty of goals. Well, I think that's why this is such a big game. Mm. It's because these are, if there's two teams in the Premier League, just take it as a Premier League that you want to watch. It would be Liverpool, in my opinion, it would be Liverpool and City. Yeah. I mean, Liverpool are probably as good to watch, but haven't made it as much of a success, clearly. But if there is a team that could break this run that City are on, I, I could see it being Liverpool. I, re I really could. But it, def it depends how they def defend. It depends uh, how Robertson, who's been OK, and who he plays it right back. Yeah. Is it Gomez or Trent Alexander-Arnold? Obviously, Henderson, whilst he's not the greatest player, he's got a good, a bit, good energy in midfield. And then uh, Sani, uh, Manny sorry, has to step up to the plate. He's now going to have to get a bit of consistency. If they do that, I, I think Liverpool could actually stop this run because they're a fantastic team going forward. So you're going for a Liverpool win? Don't know. <laughs> I'm bordering on a draw. I can, it's hard, to, it's it's hard, hard. to stick your neck out and say Liverpool are going to win this game. Why? Listen, because Why City it? are fantastic. Okay. City are fantastic. We're, we're saying that if, it's, if there's a team that can do it, it's Liverpool, but... You, you can't, you just Hard can't, to go against you can't blindly turn around and say, oh, aye, Liverpool's won this game, yeah, easy. As, as Liverpool does what you're asking them to do, which is attack and get after Manchester City, that mm. also means that the lines get stretched. That means that Liverpool gets stretched. And in that game, there's nobody better in the Premier League than Manchester City. I, I, I see this as Manchester City going into Anfield and getting a win. It's the only way they can beat them, well, though. Because they can't, they can't beat Manchester City sitting on the edge of the box. Sure. So what's the alternative? Well, you get yourself forward. Quickly, Gav, what do you think? No, you, you say that, uh, and, and obviously Liverpool built to attack. I just wonder if, with Van Dijk, given what he can do in terms of his long passing and set pieces and the pace of Salah and whatnot, weirdly, maybe this is a game where maybe you know Klopp throws a curveball and actually does decide to sit and, and try to exploit the, the pace on the counter rather than go head-to-head -head and risk leaving Van Dijk exposed at the back. Who have you got, Gav? I, I've got the draw. I've okay. got a comfortable place here on my on my fence. 